Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhera Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's start with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get? Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. It starts with d4. Bishop comes on f4. Uh, that's an interesting first move by the opponent. I'll then play bishop g5 maybe. I'm not letting him play the center pawn. Um, and I can play pawn forward. Can give a check after taking the knight. That's one way of dealing it. Uh, but then he saves the pawn structure as well. I'll just get the bishop maybe and then give a check. Hmm. Uh, let's take the knight. And give a check. So that he plays pawn forward. Go back. Maybe play pawn forward next. Uh, let's do the knight so that pawn is guarded twice. Because it was being attacked twice with bishop and queen. Plans of playing pawn forward again. Okay, I can take. Let's see. Bishop or pawn. If pawn, I can take the queen as well. I should exchange, yes. Maybe play pawn forward now. Oh, this can be a nasty move. It's not for now at least. Pawn forward sticks there always. Uh, let's take. Let's take. And I play pawn forward so that there's no threats of getting my rook trapped. This doesn't help my opponent. I can get my knight rerouted to multiple places. Um, this makes more sense. Centralized. Preventing his bishop development as well. And he attacks straight away. I can go back. Attacking the pawn so that now pawn cannot move forward. I'm attacking with the bishop as well. So maybe a move like b6 can be expected now. And I can reroute my knight uh, here as well. Can castle queen side and just get the knight out on either side and then exchange the rooks. Yeah, let's exchange. I. Let's see who does the exchange, my opponent or me. He lets it go. I can take the knight. Or I can plant my knight here as well. Attacking the bishop. But then from where... Um, let's see where I can go from here. And that's a good move to start with, I think. He can double up. But I can take as well. So not an issue. If he moves his bishop, then I have to think what I'm going to do about the knight. I can actually get it back as well. No problems. Yep, trying to double up. I'll take. Uh, which means... I have one more knight, which is an active. So let's make that active. Preparing to go here. Uh, pawn forward can make more sense. I cannot take. It doesn't uh, gives away this. Uh, point is, if I don't take, there's a fork coming, so I have to take. Which means I have to guard this, and I have to attack the pawn. So the best move would be to go up, attack the pawn, not let him move pawn forward. I have this move coming next which he defends and this as well. So I'll just double up here. Okay, attacks the knight. Knight goes here, then where? Maybe here. Or can come back as well. Both options there. So pretty okay with that. Pawn forward would mean that, ah, this is going to be becoming a pain in the ass later on. Okay, let's try and exchange some stuff. He'll try to take with the bishop. I'll take. 
and all I have to do is take care of the spawn which I can do this way as well he can take I take then I have to be doubled up here I can come here as well though but then pawn forward would mean I have to gain more so yeah let's analyze it once oh, he already played pawn forward uh, let's double up he can't double up right now and I can play pawn forward next uh, but then the bishop is can be a problem ah there's a fork coming thank you this helps sorts the problem mostly I'll take and I can't play pawn forward damn okay now uh, what do we do next I think I get one of my rooks away from here pawn forward doesn't work because ah, he takes so I should just go ahead with this and then this so that if he does take I can take back get my rook active maybe take the bishop with the rook as well it's not a bad option to a lot of extent uh, I can take you let's see what my opponent does takes back I have to move my king now just trying to safeguard the pawn from the rook and what else can happen here let's figure out our plan is simple to move the pawn forward if he tries to break through oh, that looks bad okay so should i push forward should i sidestep with the rook i should defend with the rook for now um this can be problematic later on i have to be careful i think my opponent saw that coming not sure just trying to play pawn and let's keep it on the lighter squares i cannot play pawn forward simple otherwise he expands and I take he takes anything can happen there i'll move this pawn forward so that it's on white square he can take control of dark squares if he really wants to i'll take get my rook open up maybe attack the pawns from here okay yeah i'll take opponent does take back and now here goes the rook attacking the pawn sounds looks more comfortable now a bit i don't know i'll take pawn four is one option i can take as well just to simplify okay i go here so that i have this defense as well against the pawn i think i should take here high time because if that promotes i'll be losing this game for sure and i need to now take care of my pawns and attack his as well um if i play pawn forward he plays this and that's better for me yes now i can go here which blocks him from coming we can come from here but then i can place pawn forward as well okay most finally i'll take opponent does take two i go up and he takes this pawn and i proceed with this maybe just get the rook here first i want to take this and just exchange rooks then i'll have extra pawn which will proceed and win me the match i could have taken damn why didn't i i'll take and i'll go here
okay come down go up go here now there's no check coming proceed with the pawn go here go here is it a draw yep i could have actually won this somehow but due to lack of time i prefer to say it the other way i can go here yeah sidestep the check and then i'm pretty good once i approach closer to the open stroke that was definitely winning but as i said time was a crucial factor so i'll take the draw let's analyze the game quickly once from computer perspective start off with d4 f5 by the opponent bishop g5 knight f6 i didn't take there and then i went with bishop on e2 opponent develops bishop e7 i take on now and give a check just moving his pawns forward and then i go with knight f3 on d6 by the opponent h4 and then i just took on the pawn uh queen was on exchange offer so i took it went ahead with the pawn there yes i saw this later after playing the pawn forward he could have actually just played pawn forward which means i have to just defend with the knight and then he can play pawn forward then i have to move my knight somewhere and which means that after i move my rook is kind of trapped and cannot be saved yep and then he takes i take back with the knight and this is losing already i'm down he's got good pawn structure as well yes he can do this and i'll take open can take back check would not mean much because open can definitely save easy and then it's two rooks with the opponent and that would be tough to convert from there uh, but he didn't see that luckily i take on the pawn he does take back and then i play pawn to c3 avoiding that blunder and then the same order of moves knight comes down to b3 they up the other knight and then castle queen side just trying to go ahead with the knight offering exchange uh, i can take on the knight but i thought of attacking the bishop there took on the bishop finally he takes back with the rook and then i go with knight on d2 the idea was to uh, clear out my knight and exchange knights by going to uh, c4 but here my opponent offered the pawn so and extra as well um, by just spoiling his pawn structure maybe uh, and then i went on uh, to a5 and my opponent played pawn forward solidifying his structure again and this was the challenging part then i went with knight to c6 i doubled up and then i often blundered uh, gave one of the rooks and i take he does take back and then i was wondering how to break through this i had to take here which i do i move the king which was right too here um, again i had this problem in my mind that what if my often played pawn forward uh, but then I can take this is the solution to it. I was thinking if I take and my opponent takes back and then I'm going to lose one of the rooks. So that can be problematic. And if pawn forward as well can be problem. Um, and I'm stuck with my rooks and he has got bishop there. Bishop can be painful at the end. No, so instead I played pawn forward, then tried to get my rook out of the danger. And exchange some pawns there and then went with rook on f4 here i could take another pawn so i did take and then opponent plays bishop on g5 i go with uh, rook on d4 opponent plays pawn forward as i said i had to take so i took opponent takes back i take two now i've got two extra pawns that should be good enough for a victory I try to exchange pawns there, which he denies. Then I go up. And then he tries to play pawn forward. I take. And then I go towards the king. He takes the pawn there, but I just try to exchange stuff. I could have taken the pawn. I missed it. But then the next move I took. And then some repetition of checks happening. And then I'm trying to just make my way forward. 
play pawn forward there. Um, here I can go towards the other side, but I was just trying to play faster and repeat moves too. And finally, a draw came in because of repetition. I could have won this, but time was a crucial factor. As I said, uh, was very down on time, so I had to take this. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Thanks for watching and do subscribe, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.